It's Weed Shop 2. And here we are in our beachfront neighborhood. So I got the shop closed for a few minutes to try and talk about the game here, which I really like. I think they did a pretty good job with it. It's been fun. And I keep looking forward to uh, upgrading the shops more. So you have to level up, keep leveling up to unlock more cool stuff and uh, keep your income growing so that you can afford that stuff. But you also have to uh, attract customers. You have to earn new customers, do some promotion by giving some of these people out here some free joints. And there's also thieves. Early on, there's a woman who comes in your shop and tries to steal weed. And you can just whack her with your stick and she'll go away. Then around level 13, you get this big asshole who comes in your shop and steals money that isn't uh, locked up. So you have to buy enough safes to keep all your money locked up. So I just got to level 16 and wouldn't you know it, I had over $6,000. And he walks right in the store, so I had to quickly open up the menu and buy more cash safes. So since those cost money, it got me down to $4,871. I've been trying to keep $5,000. I want to have like $5,000 to spend when I spend it. Here comes the woman who tries to steal your weed. Or you can just whack... Get the fuck out of here. But the guy you can't do that to, he'll knock you out. Uh, thanks to the developers, they actually put some guides up on Steam. And uh, I think I read in one of those that if you get high, you might be able, if you smoke a joint, you might be able to knock him out. But I think I have to have a better stick than this. I have to buy the, the better bat or whatever. Don't fucking come in. Alright, I think I'm going in here. I got the cheap upgraded sign and exterior paint job. Uh, to increase reputation of the shop. And you have to buy the uh, closed sign. Otherwise, you'll be always be open. And if you want to focus on something. Like your grow or something. Else you need to take care of if you go in the menu and buy some stuff. Uh, you get... Uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to do when a lot of people come in. This table, you have to buy and you can roll joints on here. And go out and give them to people to try and turn them into customers. You do have to buy the rolling papers as well. It takes about 26 seconds to roll and grind one up on there. Right, these balloons I bought to increase uh, customer satisfaction. Also, these lamps do that. And I bought more balloons and another lamp because they increased uh, satisfaction by about 3%. And that was an alternative to buying a lava lamp that increases reputation or satisfaction by two percent but it costs two thousand dollars but i can think about that now get that lava lamp okay we got the advanced counter i bought around level 14 or 15 and that increases it was five thousand dollars but increases xp per sale by ten percent so i th think that was a good investment these jars you have to buy to hold your inventory that you grow right now I can hold up to 300 grams and that has been enough to satisfy the amount of business I have and I haven't been running out I haven't been running too low uh, keeping these death stars going and then another cheap plant 
but right now I'm thinking about uh, I might want to grow more and try to get more people in here gotta focus on that I would like to level up a little bit faster if I can at this point okay this is the grow room and uh, that's my cash safe for my cash and this is my basic setup that you start off with. You can have three pots on here. You have to buy the pots because they keep breaking. You do start off with a bunch of stuff at the beginning of the game. You got pots and seeds. And what I've been doing is I keep two level two, two advanced pots for level two seeds. And they can grow uh, plants that will have a bigger harvest than these level 1 pots. They also take a little bit longer to grow than these level 1 seeds. But I keep the level 1 pot on there for uh, economy because it will save me the expenses kind of balances things out. These are more expensive to grow, these seeds, to cost more. And then the seed, these level one seeds are cheaper. Now, like I say, I did grow some plants starting a few years ago, so, or several years ago. A girlfriend that I live with had some seeds. She, she had them actually for a long time, I think, before I decided I was going to try to grow them, and I did. I think twice I grew some small crops. But it was very satisfying to uh, take care of the plant from germination to flowering and harvest. Uh, and I have a lot of respect f and for the plant as a plant so I, th I think that's a really cool thing to do if you're interested in trying to grow one i think it's a it, it was a really cool thing to do and they are fun and it's very interesting so i think that covers that and i might open up here i'll go into the menu real quick so you got your seeds, level one seeds, as I said, are uh, cheaper, but they uh, produce less than these level two seeds, which also take longer, can take longer to grow. This Death Star is good because it only takes three minutes to grow and it produces 33 gram. Now the strawberry cough produces 60 grams, but it takes 12 minutes to grow. In this game, nutrients reduce your grow time. So you can see this one takes 10 minutes off the grow time. Let's read grow XL. Um, so I approached this game at first uh, by drawing on actual experience. And I felt like I, I was burning a lot of money uh, giving them nutrients each time because in this game you can grow without giving them nutrients. You can just give them water. So that's one thing I do to save money, especially in the beginning and grow your bank account. All right. So. As you go here, here and uh, as you level up, you'll unlock cooler things and better things. Level 17, you need to be, that's the next level. For these seeds, Mango Kush, 51 grams, only takes six minutes. That sounds like a good one. But look at this Platinum OG. Oh, you need to be level 20, 100 grams, 20 minutes. There's one in here. Look at this White Widow. We, you've heard of that one. These are all named after real strains, I think. But I think everybody knows the White Widow. Uh, two hours it will take. 
I mean, it would be great in real life if it only took that long to grow a plant, but in this game, that's a long time. Okay, let's go back here to grow equipment. You have your basic pot, and they do break. So you have to buy new ones, but uh, you can grow level 1 seeds in there. The advanced pot, level 2 seeds, $300. You know, at first it's like, what? The pot doesn't cost $300, but uh, it works for the economy of the game. I think it's pretty well balanced after playing it for a while. Pro pot. Um, you can grow level 3 seeds in there and need to be level 19, so I've got a ways to go. Unbreakable pot. That doesn't break. Small basic setup, that's what I got. And I think, I'm thinking, uh, what's this one increase? Oh, who's in here, thief? Yep. Yep, okay, she's gone. Okay, let's go back in here. Oh, all right. What was I looking at? These people are getting pissed that the shop's not open. Reduces overall grow time by 10%. Oh! Right now, that is not a problem. I've been able to grow at a good pace for the business I get. But I want to grow the the business that I'm getting. I want to get make more money faster and I want to get more XP faster, so I'm looking for that in here. Tonight, get a better setup. So I was thinking maybe I could grow like more, get another table. And uh, let's look over here. So this is gonna get me five XP for this crop. Two from that plant, two from that harvest, and one XP from that harvest. That's why I like to keep, consider it as the table as a, a crop. And even though these are two plants over here are enough to uh, keep my inventory going healthy, uh, healthy enough to serve my customers. I'm using this plant, which I don't really need the harvest from for that extra XP, so I'm getting five XP off of this crop instead of just four. So I'm thinking if I put another table in here, which I can do, I think. Um, I'll get 10 XP off of that crop. Two tables going like this. So that'll help me level up a little bit faster. That's one idea. Things that reduce the time, we see. Hydro setup. Oh man. Four hydro plants. You need to be way up there in your level though. Alright. Grow supplements. Okay, that was grow equipment. This is grow supplements. Like I say, the nutrients. Reduce the grow time, but you don't have to use nutrients in this game to grow your plants. And these uh, water pumps water the plant for you. If the plant goes dry, that will stall its progress towards harvest time. And we got uh, once in a while your plants get mites it doesn't happen very often but it seems like once i got to level 14 or 15 it happened more often and i did have spider mites on a plant in real life once but i did get really rid of them so you can see the cure here costs 300 dollars. so if i was growing an expensive plant and it got spider mites uh, in that plant, 
also produced a big harvest where um, the amount of bud that you're getting off of it is going to be worth way more than this three hundred dollars then it's worth it otherwise if it's just a cheap plant that gets spider mites then just forget it cut cut it down and get rid of it hydro pumps hydro lights advanced hydro lights And you got your weed storage jars and your cash cash safe safe cash storage, which I covered. Right, this is the stick I have now. I need to get better ones. So there's the bum basher. Steal the pain, golden crippler. I need to level up. Small weed shop I got now. Can accommodate accommodate up to three customers at a time. Oh, if I get up to level 18, then I can have six at a time. Look at this mega weed shop, up to 18 people. Okay, I got the small grow room, so I can have two setups in here. I can buy, oh, I don't have enough money. The medium grow room can have up to four setups, but I don't really need that, that many. I would only want like two right now. Huge grow room, mega grow room. Um, okay, this shop sign that I got uh, increases increases popularity by 5%. Look at this one. OG shop sign, 50% popularity. You need to be level 80. What else is cool? You can hire people. You can hire your staff. For security, you can hire growers, you can hire promoters, you can hire salespeople. And over here, we got our shop essentials. So I got the advanced counter. You can get the pro counter at level 20 to get 20 plus 20 XP more per sale. I can get this advanced rolling table, which grinds up the weed three times faster. It takes like 26 cents per joint on this table I had, or 26 seconds per joint on this table I got now. Pro rolling table, motorized grinder, unlocks exclusive designer joints. Here comes this guy, he can't steal anything because the money's locked up. Go back in here, try to get this done quickly so uh, I can open up again. What else is in here? Shelves, tables. Oh, wait a minute. Is there anything I can use? Okay, there's nothing I want. Okay, I might think about the lava lamp. Oh, uh, there's a ghetto blaster, floor lamps, increase your customer satisfaction, statuary. Uh, I can get the security system. Will alert you every time a criminal enters your store, but thing is, I'm usually in here when they're in here, so I don't really need that. All right, exterior paint job, I can increase that at level 21 again. And uh, you can get some really cool ones as you get higher up in level. Grow room floors, can't increase that again until level 23. Grow room wall. Okay, that I might be interested in right now. Let me see. Reputation, uh, grow, these ones, are they reflective? You would want your walls in your grow room to reflect the light, so these look kind of strange, but this one looks right. Yeah, I don't know about yellow, gold, or whatever. Sh 
shop floors can't increase that again or that at all until level 18. Oh man, they got some cool ones. They got some snazzy shit up here. That's what I want. Marijuana diploma. Oh, these are decorative items. Get posters. I will spend some money on customer satisfaction, I think. Because I've been closed a few minutes. Eh. Posters and paintings. And then we got smokes and merchandise. So you can buy joints, but you can save money by rolling your own on your joint rolling table, but you gotta buy the papers. Oh, it looks like I have two heavy duty joint papers ready to go. Make it five. And look at this, they got the cross joint papers. So you can roll. Wait a minute, you can't buy one of those? But you can make one like in Pineapple Express. What a disappointing movie that was. It has some, a few good lines of dialogue, but I watched it just the other night. Not, not very good, just like I remembered. You got all kinds of bongs. And that's about it for that. So let's open up. Try to make this video before, but it gets long, especially if I talk about the uh, growing of plants. So let's do this harvest. We are up to 247 grams now, 2 XP off that. 281 grams now, 2 XP off of that. 291 grams right now, almost full inventory. Another point of XP off that and get something else growing. I'll take two Death Stars. And one cheap one. That doesn't take very long, but it has not too bad of a grow time. All right, start that one first because it takes longer. Water, water, water. And no nutrients to save on money. And I also don't have brisk enough business that I really need to put nutrients in a big harvesting plant right now. I hear you got some good mighty mez. I'll take 11 grams off your hands. There you go, brother. So, $165 there. What's up, Gilf? Hey there, handsome. Got some dank for me today. How about five grams, sister? She just wants a little bit, but look at this, $75. What's up, Bill Cosby? Oh, that's not Bill Cosby. I'm looking for some quality boo. Can you help me out? Yes, $225. 15 grams he bought. Water, water, water. Water, water, water. Water, water, water. All right. So, I might give somebody a... Oh, here's this woman. Don't come in here and try to steal my weed. I think this guy's going in. Yep. What's up, brother? Alright. I'm looking for some quality tea cow. Can you help me out? You know it. Good looking out, bud. And there you go. Water, water. Water, water, water. about more than a minute on those two and two minutes on that ghost train ninety dollars here inventory is down to 250 grams but that's nothing to worry about is this is my man coming in here now nope brother where are you going give me a joint i'll help his glaucoma I'll make another video where I talk about uh, growing plants. I think, I, I mean, like I've tried to do it in one video, everything. Talk about this game and 
talk about growing plants, but it makes for a long video. So you get the picture. Ghost train haze plant needs to be watered. Water, water, water. Oh, these, these are almost done. And in real life, you wouldn't want to water them this close to harvest. What you would do is, hey, there's a nice BBW. Just gonna get high and make me some nice muffins. Okay, all right, what was I talking about? Um, in real life, you would, and that pot's busted, so I gotta buy a new one. You would let the plant uh, dry out uh, before harvest. You let the soil dry out. But before that, you would flush out the nutrients as you get ready for harvest. So you don't taste the nutrients. On your girls, these are all uh, ladies. This one's almost done. Get two Death Stars going, and I'm gonna have to buy a new pot. Bye bye. Take another one of those. Serve this customer. I gotta get the new pot. Um, advanced pot. Alright, Death Star. Water, water, water. I know somebody's in here. Death Star. Water, water, water. Water, water. Oh, that one's ready. Alright, $105. Getting close to uh, 5000 again. All right, that pole ain't gonna grind itself, so I'll need 13 grams of your best Buddha. Know what I mean? I got a pole you can grind, I guess. I'm not sure what she means when they when they say that. Uh, does that mean they're a stripper? Another uh, plant here for the XP off of this crop. See, you get to thinking about a lot of stuff while you play this game. You got customers to take care of, and uh, thinking about improvements to the shop, and I'm also taking care of these plants. They're almost ready, these ones. These girls. Okay, I think I was, was going to say something about this, but these are obviously all... feminized seeds. Because you never have to worry about getting a male plant that does not produce bud and they're off also obviously auto flowering because because you don't have to change the uh, light cycle well, here comes this asshole who's gonna try and steal money but there's none to be <sighs> okay no he can't because I can hold up to seventy five hundred dollars in my safes right now so you are shit out of luck you ugly mother fuck that's right you can't even get through a doorway and you're trying to steal money better go back to your job shoveling shit into your own mouth all right they did what's up brother 204 grams we got. Okay, buy something. He's doing it. He's doing it. Well, I'll get this. I think. Yeah, do it. Well, just do it. Just do it. And then, do I need to do this? Yeah. Oh. Wow, that's a big fucking lava lamp. Didn't, 
I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, where am I gonna put it? Can't put it there. Oh shit, this might be a problem. Might have too much shit. Can I get around? Yeah, I can. Okay. I think I need to get somebody high out here. I mean, I got enough business though. Okay, think about the uh, grow situation in here. Double this XP. Reduces grow time. I don't really need to reduce the time because... Well, the one thing that I can think that would uh, help with is not having to water the plants so much. I mean, you can buy the pumps that water them for you, but... By doing it myself, I'm saving money, not having to buy those pumps. But if I reduce the grow time, then obviously I won't have to do as much watering either. So, the setup, $3,000, I'm going to do it, I think. And then you need to buy the pots, but do it. You're still thinking it's like handicap in a horse race, which is why I like that too. Makes you think it's like a, a crossword puzzle or whatever. I'm doing it. Pretty sure that's what I want to do and get going here. So a small event set. Where can I put this? Right here? But it does it turn the other way when I put it over here? No. Oh well. Oh well. That one's almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Is there somewhere else I can put it? Well, going to put the pots on it anyways. How do I want to go about this? How much money do I have? I still got almost $4,000. We got a harvest right here. Shit. Seems like I am selling a bit more. Uh, I mean, at a fast, little bit faster pace, so maybe that, that lava lamp is working wonders. Oh, shit. I, maybe I do want to put this somewhere else because of the... Uh, I can't see my tote board, so to speak, with that in the way. It's getting awfully small in here all of a sudden. Oh, uh, yeah, you can put this one over there. Okay. Put this one over there because the lights uh, aren't that obstructive. And then move this one over here. Okay. Okay, okay, it's okay. That's that asshole. Now I got three customers. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. This is a good day. Well, let's see if I can keep this uh, going without uh, burning too much money. Because oh, I really don't need... This many uh, Death Stars and... Uh, Big producing uh, plants going out run time. I can't sell inventory that fast. So this is definitely a cheap pot here. And something that doesn't produce very much. There he did it. Okay. 
Well, I'm sitting at three hundred dollars, three thousand dollars, and uh, one hundred and thirty grams of inventory. Maybe you might as well buy another. jar for your inventory, I guess. Now, and those guides I read on Steam that the developers put up. This is ready. Okay, that needs to be replaced. Um, they said that they showed more thieves in the game, so more thieves come along besides this girl, this fucking weird chick. And that big dude who tries to steal your money. So, there's that to look forward to. And the more money and the more weed I have, that's just more stuff that could be stolen. Buying a cheap pot over here. Oh fuck, let me think about this. Okay, spider mites on what? This one I will buy the cure because I think that plant produces enough that what I'm gonna sell is gonna make me is either gonna make me at least break even I think that's harvest this is gonna get tricky okay well, still got a ways to go because I got 265 XP of the 957 needed to get to level 17. So I don't think I'm going to continue with the video until I get to level 17. But you get the picture. So got the lava lamp to improve customer satisfaction we got a advanced setup here for three pots we can grow six plants at the same time and like I say the, the subject is interesting interesting especially uh, I'm really and always going to be interested in the, the growing part now after having done it and uh, learned it and always be interested in learning more there and all right so there you have it weed shop to a pretty fun game and I'm glad I got it I'm enjoying it quite a bit it's a nice chill game um, nice break from the action games and battlefield so I'll keep trying to grow this business and improve that shop and make it really cool and make this grow room bigger and cooler and get a lot of these hot ladies to give me that booty till next time 
Until next time. I was gonna say, I mean, I know most people uh, making kind of weed video would be like, peace. But I'm not that kind of guy. I'm more of like, uh, until next time, try to enjoy the daylight. Tell us from the dark side. That's my culture. Right, brother? Lee dead.